Wow, that is a lot of crazy. Amber Mildred Rufin. Come on out here. This is Pennywise behavior. Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene came under fire this week after a video surfaced of her verbally harassing Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's staff back in 2019 before Greene was in Congress accompanied by a few friends. Greene yelled at Ocasio-Cortez's staff through the mail slot in her office door and dared the Congresswoman to come out and face her. See for yourself. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I'm an American citizen. I pay your salary through the taxes that you collect from me through the IRS. You need to stop being a baby and stop locking your door and come out and face the American citizens that you serve. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap. Guess what? You can't stay in there forever. Can you come out and play? <laughs> wow, that is truly terrifying. Hey, Amber. Well, what is that? Hey, Amber Rufin. I, uh, I think it's coming from the mail slot. Amber Mildred Rufin. Come on out here. Oh my God, it's Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie, I am not coming out there. Why not? Because I'm pretty sure you're gonna try to murder me. I am a Peacock subscriber. I pay your salary. You pay Peacock's monthly subscription fee? Well, no, I have the free version. All right, well. You need to stop being a baby and stop locking your door and come on out and face your viewers. I don't want to. Why not? I'm worried that if I go out there, things will get crazy. Oh, baby, if I'm here, things are already crazy. Come on, come on out or let me in. I just want to talk. Oh, yuck, I am not coming out and you sound like a character from The Purge. That's not nice. Why are you bullying me? You're a bully. I'm not bullying you. You're shouting at me through a mail slot on my door. It's unsettling. This is Pennywise behavior. Come on, you have to talk to me. Face to face, not through this little flap. No, I don't have to talk to anybody. But I'm such a fan. Oh yeah? If you're such a fan, name one sketch on this show. Oh, well, I, uh, um, uh, um, mean tweets? It's not even close. Look, Marjorie, it doesn't matter what you say. I'm not coming out there and you are definitely not coming in here. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper, come out from that desk and talk to me. I don't wear a diaper. You wear a diaper. Help, help, she's bullying me, help. Aren't you a congressperson? Don't you have a job to do? Well, yes, but I, I don't understand what it is. No one ever explained it to me. Okay, well, you're a United States congressperson. Your job is to represent the constituents from your district and to introduce and vote for legislation that serves their best interests. So, no harassing people? No, that's not part of your job. So... I should probably go get to work. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Hey, Amber. Thanks for being such a snowflake! Oh, no, Marjorie Taylor Greene, everybody. We'll be right back with more of the Amber Ruffin Show. I'm watching you, Amber Ruffin! Okay, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene was back in the news this week. You may remember that the last time we checked in with Marjorie Taylor Greene, she was shouting at Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez through the mail slot on her office door. Look. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I'm an American citizen. I pay your salary through the taxes that you collect from me through the IRS. You need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap. Yikes. Well, last week, a new video emerged of Taylor Greene yelling, uh, telling a bunch of supporters at a fundraiser what they should do if a government volunteer comes to their door to promote vaccines. And one more thing on that, you lucky people here in Alabama might get a knock on your door because I hear Alabama might be one of the most unvaccinated states in the nation. Well, Joe Biden wants to come talk to you guys. 
He's going to be sending one of his police state friends uh, to your front door. Well, what they don't know is in the South, we all love our Second Amendment rights. And we're not real big on strangers showing up on our front door, are we? They might not like the welcome they get. Wow. That is a lot of crazy. Hey, Amber. Amber Rufin. Oh, crap. What is it? Marjorie Taylor Greene is at the door. Mm. I'm back. <laughs> get rid of your dapper and come on out and talk to me. Marjorie Taylor Greene, you get away from my door. Why? It's my right as a taxpayer to shout at you. You pay taxes? Mm, not if I can help it. You are the worst. Get out of here. If you want me to leave so bad, why don't you just send one of your police state friends to come and make me? I don't have any police state friends. Also, wait, are you pro-police or anti-police? <gasps> Stop bullying me. I'm not bullying you. Yes, you are. Asking follow-up questions is the worst kind of bullying. I'm going to call 911. But then the police state will show up. Oh, don't use your liberal mind tricks on me. Come out and play. No, and you have got to get away from my door. Oh, oh, I get it. So you can come to my door and force me to get a vaccine, but I can't come to your door and wave a little pistol through the mail slot? Oh no, my gun! You cannot do that. Yes, I can, it's my second amendment right. Oh, ow, quit bumping me. It's my turn. No, it's not. Is there somebody else back there with you? Yes, there is. Hello, Amber. It's me, handsome, relatable bad boy next door, Matt Gates. No, and, and handsome was the wrong word, and I, I don't, I don't want to talk to you either. Why not? I'm just a wealthy, successful sociopath who's being investigated by the police for several horrific crimes. You just described the plot of American Psycho. Oh, you have me at American, baby. Look, Amber, we actually agree on a lot more than we disagree on. Oh, yeah? Like what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that a follow-up question? Oh, she loves to do that. Bully! 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 Okay, all right, enough. Look, you two don't have anything better to do than harass me at my job? Oh, uh, well, not really. I got kicked off all my committee assignments for being a freak. And all my closest friends are either in custody or at sleepaway camp. So, yeah, this is pretty much all we have to do today. Well, as long as you're in the building, I heard they're giving away free vaccines in the lobby. Whoa, look at the time. Mm, gotta run, bye. bye. I had a feeling that would work. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It worked. It did. She should be careful. Those things are dangerous. Guns? No, her nails. Mm. Republican Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene was in the news again this week, but this time it wasn't for shouting at Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez through the mail slot of her office door. Remember that? We do. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I'm an American citizen. I pay your salary through the taxes that you collect from me through the IRS. You need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap. Very chill. Now, this time, Marjorie Taylor Greene is in hot water after a video emerged showing her leaving the White House in late December 2020. The video seems to contradict her claims that she had nothing to do with planning the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Check it out. Just finished with our meetings here at the White House this afternoon. We had a, had a great planning session for our January 6th objection. We aren't going to let this election be stolen by Joe Biden and the Democrats. President Trump won by a landslide. Well, that seems pretty cut and dry. Amber, Amber Rufin. Ah, oh, damn it. What is it? Marjorie Taylor Greene is at the door. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something dumb to tweet. Marjorie Taylor Greene, you get away from my door. You can't make me. It's Halloween, the only night of the year where I can legally shop through mail slots. <laughs> Oh, so you're in costume right now? What are you dressed up as? A functioning adult person. 
What are you dressed as? A snowflake? Marjorie, you are being very scary. Well, mission accomplished. Now give me some candy corn. Candy corn? Who would ever ask for candy corn? Someone who doesn't understand the difference between good and bad. Now let me in there, Amber no, Ruffin. No way! Oh, please, please, there's a bunch of tiny socialists out here. How can you tell that they're socialists? They're asking for handouts. Uh, those are trick-or-treaters. Help, help, there's a tiny Iron Man coming this way and I think he wants universal health care. Marjorie, be honest. Did you help plan the January 6th riots? No comment. When the protesters stormed the Capitol, did you high five them? No comment. Can you answer any questions about the insurrection? Mm, let me check with my lawyers. <laughs> Send. Oh. Well, what did they say? They said lose this number. Okay. <laughs> Marjorie, don't you have work to do? Not really. At this point, shouting awful things at people is pretty much my full-time job. So you have nowhere else to be? That's right. I guess I'll just have to stay here forever! <laughs> no, no, sorry, Marjorie, not happening. Tarek? I'm on it. Oh, I nailed it!